When it comes to business reporting, pie charts are one of the most trickiest ones to understand. But recently I saw a chart that kind of trumps the pie chart for the worst chart ever. Let's take a look at it first. Is it a pie chart? Is it a tree map? Is it their ugly baby? Who knows? Here is the top 100 companies kind of like an infographic prepared by the visual capitalist. Let's take a closer look at this. As you could see, they choose to represent the entire top 100 companies market capitalization as a big circle. And then they choose, they kind of cut it up into various chunks, each corresponding to one sector of company within the geography. So obviously United States has the biggest chunk here, but then it follows with China and then you have your Asia Pacific, Europe, Canada and Saudi Arabia. This is one of the worst kind of charts to understand because without labels, you wouldn't really know exactly how much each of those areas are. So once the labels and the icons and the big words are added, nobody is really looking at that picture anymore. The picture kind of really acts like a piece of decoration. This is the kind of charts that you as a sensible data analyst should avoid at all costs. Some of you may still not be convinced. You might be a big fan of pie charts. So let's do a very quick experiment here to see whether pie charts do work or not. I got my trusty friend, the whiteboard, and I'm going to use two pens, red pen and green pen, and let's draw two angles here on the paper. So that's my first angle. And that's the second angle. Now, let me present these two to you and I'll ask you a simple question. Which one do you think is bigger, A or B? Take a good look. Okay, have you decided? Now, let me make a confession first before we actually go into the answer for this. I failed an engineering drawing exam when I was growing up. I used to be a very bright and academically sharp kid, like I used to get fussed in all examinations and all that. But when I got into college, engineering exam, engineering drawing is the only exam that I failed. So keep in mind that you are talking to somebody who failed in their drawing when you decide which angle is big. You might say A is big or even B is big. But the reality is it is very hard to give a correct answer without using some sort of proper tools to measure the angles. This is because our eyes have not evolved to compare angles, but they're very good at comparing heights or widths. So if you draw two lines, you can easily compare which one is taller without even using any equipment. But when it comes to angle or area, we struggle a lot. This is the reason why I think pie charts suck. This is because when you look at a pie chart, you're forced to compare angles to make a decision. That's why when ma people make pie charts, they go and then add labels to elicitate the value. And at that point, the pie chart simply becomes a decoration. You're only looking at the values to decide. Now, it is not awesome to kind of go and uh, really say bad things about somebody else's work. So that's not really what I believe in. So what we are going to do instead is I'm going to present you with two alternatives to the that grotesque pie chart and then talk about why you may want to go into that direction. All said and done, there might be some places and situations where a pie chart might work, but in general, when it comes to business reporting and business analytics, you want to shy away from pie charts as much as possible. Okay, so that is my advice. When you are in doubt, go with the easy ones. Here I'm presenting two charts that are alternatives. These are really simple charts that take up way less space, convey all the information in a sensible, meaningful fashion. The first one is a simple table kind of a chart that shows how many companies are there by each category of the industry so we have technology consumer discretionary etc and then it breaks that down into various geographies and then it also shows at the total level what is the market capitalization and by country level on the top so you can get all sorts of insights with just one glance you can read it either horizontally or vertically everything is clearly el elicited the labels are also very sensibly placed so you have your very first label with the dollar and then billion at the end and everything else is just numbers so it doesn't really clutter up one big problem that i found with this chart is there is too much white space here 
So I've decided to take these three and combine them into rest of the world. So that's the second chart where there is only four columns instead of six, US, China, Europe, and rest of the world. And that kind of reduces the amount of white space that is on the chart and still presents all the information. The big advantage of making either this or this is that you are taking way less time to produce this. On the other hand, if we have to draw this picture, we would have to use either Photoshop or Illustrator or some other software because it is very hard to draw this with charting tools alone. The bigger challenge is you would need to fairly accurately represent the areas. So the area of that triangle or whatever that is needs to be exactly 1.51 trillion out of the overall picture. So how do you ensure that it is really impossible to draw something like that? So this becomes really like a pretty picture rather than a information display. So if your goal is to help people understand what is going on, then choose the easier options like bars and columns. And as a data analyst also, your job is simplified because creating this is really simple. You are using very simple formulas like, you know, count ifs or sum ifs if you are using in Excel. But even if you are doing this with other tools like R or Power BI or whatever may be the case, making this kind of a graph is really simple. Whereas creating something like this will take tremendous amount of work all for almost no extra perception result right in fact this is very hard to read so you would end up going back to either original data or looking at something else like this so go with the easy ones as much as possible make better charts in excel here is my guide to six line charts that every data analyst should know check it out and if you want something cheeky or fun check out my video on how to cheat with charts using seven techniques. It talks about some of the worst practices when it comes to data visualization so that you become sensitive and you make better choices when you are making graphs or charts. See you around. Bye.